So about a year and a half ago, on May 16th, 2019, I released a video titled 20 plus ideas to make Brawlhalla a better game. And seeing as it's been about a year and a half since I made that video, it's been in the back of my mind and I've wanted to revisit the topic so that we can see which ideas of mine that were in that video that BMG actually did put into the game and which ones they didn't. And I also wanted to add a few things to that list as well. So let's take a look at this old list real quick and see what they did or what they didn't do. So number one on the video was crossplay. Good job BMG, you did finally add crossplay to the game and I think we all love it. Number two was account linking. This is something that they still have not done and I really, really, really hope that they do because one of the reasons I don't like playing Brahalla on the other systems is because I don't have access to all of my skins and items that I have on PC. I don't like it that they're all separate accounts and I really hope that they add account linking going forward. Number three is clans on consoles. Now they did not add clans on consoles, uh, but they did say that they the reason that they didn't is because they want to actually build the clan feature into a better thing than it already is before they add it to the consoles. One thing I would like to see added in relation to clans is like a built-in clan tournament or built-in clan uh, sparring system within Brawlhalla. That would be awesome. Also clan rewards. Uh, clan customization maybe like a clan avatar clan colors anything like that would be awesome but they still haven't done it number four was story mode story mode i think is the number one most requested thing and i even did a community poll a few days ago and it was the number one most voted thing by far out of five choices i gave but still uh, story mode i think would add a lot to the game they have a ton of lore that they're not really using anywhere else. Uh, it just sits as a, you know, wall of text in the menu. So it would be really awesome to be able to, you know, battle out the actual lore of the legends and stuff. But we'll see. We'll see. Number five, better servers. I mean, I don't really lag. I don't really have much issues. So I don't know if the servers are better, but I guess they must have been worse back then because I put it on the list back then. But I haven't had a problem with servers, so I think they did a good job on that. Number six, we have allow custom colors in a custom 2v2 lobby. Yeah, this is something that is really annoying to me that they still don't have this uh, in the game because literally, it seems so simple. And yet here we are, like almost two years later, they still haven't done this. Basically, in friendly 2v2s or in ranked 2v2s, you can pick whatever color you want for your team as long as you and your teammate have the same color. It could be black, home team, love struck, whatever you want, right? But in a custom 2v2 lobby, that choice is taken away. You only have red or blue team. That's it. I don't know why, but it's just the way it is in a custom lobby and I wish they would fix that. Number seven, select weapon color separate from the skins. I actually have always wanted this, but I feel like I'm one of the only people. Basically, like when you're picking your legend color, I would also love that you could pick your weapon color separate from the legend color because I love like fashion holla. I love making legends look awesome. And I don't think it would really impact the game if your weapon color was a different color than your legend color. Even in a 2v2, you know, your legend would still be the same color as your teammate, but maybe you have different colored weapons. You know, what What a big deal is that? You know, come on. I wish they would do that. Number eight, earnable items or skins and a battle pass. So they did add the battle pass. <laughs> We've had two battle passes since then, but at the time that video was made, they didn't have a battle pass. So... I predicted the future on that, but <laughs> earnable items and skins, you can basically earn items and skins in the battle pass, but no other way really, other than like Twitch rewards and stuff, so they still could do a better job on earnable items and skins. You can earn like, you know, you can unlock legends for free, you can earn uh, certain colors, uh, but not. Nah, it's pretty limited, so I would like to see them expand on this a little bit more. Number nine, rewards for level 50, level 75, level 100. Yeah, so like if you get a legend beyond level 25, you don't get any rewards beyond level 25. You get you can get black colors at level 25 on a legend, but nothing else. It would be cool if they had a reward, you know, beyond that. So, and number 10, 
better challenges. This is something that at the time was desperately needed and they did actually address this issue very well. They did add a lot more challenges, more variety of challenges, especially during the battle passes. They've added a ton of, of really cool challenges, so I can't complain about that. At number 11, I had better looking maps, which at the time it was desperately needed, but actually they did make a bunch of new maps uh, in the past year and a half that are fantastic compared to the old maps. Uh, but what I meant more by better looking maps was not just better looking new maps. I would like to see them revisit some of the old maps and just make them a little bit better looking, more detailed, less boring in the background, especially and whatnot. Not too distracting or anything, but just, you know, more on par with some of their newer maps. Number 12, more animated skins. Definitely got more animated skins. They had tons of epic uh, skins and stuff in the past year and a half, though. Still not as many as you would like to see, but there's actually quite a few now. Number 12, or sorry, number 13, more crossover legends. So yeah, they, <laughs> that's funny. It was like so many crossover legends. that th This one popped off more than I ever thought that they would. At the time, I think there was only like a couple crossover legends, maybe just like the Shovel Knight. I mean, they've had so many in the year and a half, so good job on the crossover legends. Although I would like to see them get crossover legends from like, Bandai Namco games like Tales uh, Tales of games or like uh, Assassin's Creed or like any of the Ubisoft games more because they're partnered but you know they're doing a good job on that number 14 better toxic player reporting yeah they still don't really have a good reporting system for reporting toxic players or unsportsmanlike players you can report players but you don't know if anything ever happens and chances are probably nothing happens you know in rocket league there's a pretty decent system in place that is not perfect but i think and and it was like this even when i made the original video so brahala's literally done nothing on this in the past year and a half but in Rocket League, they've already had this system for years, where if you report somebody, um, if enough people report them, it'll also like put a screenshot of the chat in there. You can report them based on different categories, like unsportsmanlike conduct, uh, verbal abuse, XP farming, cheating, whatever. And you will get a notification when you log into Rocket League sometimes saying, hey, your feedback, your reporting resulted in somebody getting punished. You know, thank you for trying to keep our community a nice place for everybody you know brahala has nothing like that so i would really love to see a better reporting system and number 15 we have less skins more quality updates yeah they i don't know it's a it's a hard thing to balance they're trying to make money the game is free you know they have to keep making skins um but you know they they have done a lot of balance updates uh and they're working on more i know the great sword is still uh, broken, but depending on when you watch this, they've probably already patched it, so uh, they're, they're doing the best they can on that, I think. At number 16, I had better creator support. Um, this, this is actually something that did make progress on, because BMG actually created a partnered creator program, um, but there's not a whole lot that came of it. Like we do, the BMG partners have been used to reveal battle pass information and stuff, which is hype. And we have, you know, a special discord uh, where we can talk to each other and coordinate. And BMG has given like skins and whatnot to partnered creators like skin codes that we can then give to viewers and stuff like that so they they are making progress on this which is way better than what it was a year and a half ago but it's still not quite as good as like the epic creator support a creator program where they actually share revenue from store purchases you know that would be really nice or just um you know i would like to see brahala even if it's not you know sharing revenue or anything how about just featuring streamers or youtubers on the home page of brahala like in the corner you can feature a few streamers or youtubers that changes every day or every few hours just to highlight some people in the community that are you know working hard to make content for the game that does help the game grow and keep interest alive in the game and whatnot so it's a good partnership i would just like to see bmg do a little bit more but they're they're working on that so i can't complain 
Number 17, more adjustable legend stats. Yeah, I don't actually agree with this anymore. I don't know what I was thinking because if you could fully adjust your legend stats, you could really break the game and it wouldn't make it balanced like at all. So I don't know what I was talking about with that. Uh, number 18, item trading and gifting. This definitely I would love. I would love to be able to just easily gift people on my friends list a skin that's in my inventory or something that I don't use anymore. You know, like in Rocket League and many other games where you have tons of items, you can easily gift those items or trade items. You know, I know that you have to be careful about scammers, but that's, you know, I'm not too worried about that. I would just love the ability to trade at all. Number 19, ranked tiers beyond diamond. And I know this doesn't apply to like 99% of people, but if you're one of those uh, one or 2% of people that get diamond every single season, it's kind of boring that there's nothing beyond diamond. And you know, it feels like there's really not much to play for once you get diamond in like 20 or 30 wins every season. Because if you already got diamond like I do, I've, I've been diamond like 17 seasons. So every season they reset the elo, they push you back to like platinum one or something, but they don't, it doesn't take that long, like 20, 30 games and I'm back to diamond. So it, it then there's nothing beyond that. I have no incentive. And really, I think, you know, people have been reaching 3000 ELO once or twice. I don't know, maybe it's just Sandstorm, but I'm pretty sure a couple other people have. Boomy, I think. Um, but there's a lot of people in the 2000 to 2500 ELO range. And I think there would be, you know, it would be nice to have a rank beyond Diamond. Number 20, better lobby control options. This is mainly for like if you're live streaming, but essentially like if you're live streaming and you have 20, 30, 40 people, whatever, waiting to fight you, it's really hard to like have to keep kicking people out of the spot so that until you get the right person to join. It would be nice if you could reserve a spot uh, like in the lobby for somebody or like, um, have a queue system to where people could just join the queue automatically in the game to fight you and you would, they wouldn't have to like spam the join button. That would be nice. All right, that was the entire list of old uh, items that I had in my original video. And here is a couple new items that I've thought of recently and that you guys have mentioned in comments or wherever and I want to see added going forward. All right, let's look at my new list of ideas. This list is not in any particular order. It's just in the order that I wrote down the ideas. So, so at number one, I had ranked strikeout. I know this is probably not the most popular thing, but I actually love strikeout. I love the concept of picking three different legends. It's actually their strategy involved in which legends you pick and how they you know, work with each other. And it also is a different side of the game where it focuses more on knowing how to play multiple characters instead of just you know being good at one legend so i love ranked strike out the idea number two built-in online tournaments this would be awesome especially considering brahalla at its core is a competitive game and they're really trying to push esports esports in brahalla was exploding in 2020 uh so this would be an awesome and obvious and um awesome thing for them to do it's already in rocket league like they have online tournaments scheduled every three hours i think anybody can join you don't have to be part of a team or not you can just join by yourself and um, it will just automatically match you with people and you can play through the tournament as if you were at an actual tournament uh, you go through the bracket and in rocket league they have rewards just for doing the tournaments they have tournament rewards which are awesome and they could do that in brahalla too it would also foster interest in the competitive scene Number three, I have Stage Creator. This is just something I would like. I don't know how many other people would, but I think it would be really fun. I've always liked creating stages, even in like uh, games that have like a little stage creator, but it's not that great, like in previous Smash Bros games. But in other games too, I, I've always liked creating levels. So I think that would be fun. And the ability to download and play on other people's uh, custom stage as well would be cool. Number four, I have multi-team battles. So I know we can have, you know, one team versus another team, but how about three teams or four teams in one game, like 2v2, v2, v2? You know, why can't we do that? That would be awesome. Number five, multiplayer training. So right now you can only do training by yourself or with a computer. Um, 
I don't know if it's like something too hard to program or something, but it would be nice if you could train in training with another person uh, to practice your combos and whatnot. Number six, custom legend creator. Just because, like, why not? You know, like, give us, like, a, a default base skin or whatever and let us choose the hair, the armor, the colors, like, the weapons. That would be really, really fun. Number seven, and this is my last one, uh, a rematch button. How, how about that? You know, like, you're, you have a really good match in experimental... Maybe not in ranked. I don't think the rematch button would work in ranked because of the ELO system. But in anything other than ranked, I think a rematch button would be awesome. And that's about it, guys. So what do you think? Uh, did Brahalla do a good job on actually doing items for my last list? They did about half of the items. Actually, maybe not. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They did about eight of the 20 items on my original list. So... You know, not bad, but not like a home run either. And we also just added, what, like seven new things to that list. So they did, <laughs> they completed eight on my original list of 20. We just added seven more. So they, <laughs> they're making progress though, guys. I got to say, I love Brahalla. I love the developers. I love what they're doing. They really are trying. They're a small team. You got to give them credit. They actually do weekly, actually more than once a week they do two three times a week where they stream just to talk to the community and keep in constant contact with us also guys definitely follow brahala on twitter and on twitch because they're always giving away free items and stuff so anyways hope you enjoyed if you did please drop a like be sure to subscribe turn on all notifications so you don't miss another video and as always guys this is lucian sword i hope to see you in the next video take it easy Welcome to Brawlhalla.